call the April 3rd meeting of the Amory County Common Council to uh, order and we'll have the Pledge of Allegiance. And Dan, will you lead us, please? Sure. The Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, liberty, and justice for all. Thank you. And now, if we could have the roll call. Ben Summerin? Here. Thompson? Here. Ben Blackcomb? Here. Flannum? Here. Manor? Here. Duly noted. We have a quorum. And item number one is the consent agenda items. Has everyone looked at those? Mm -hmm. I would make a motion to approve the consent agenda items minutes from the city council meeting March 6th, 2024, special city council meeting March 27th, 2024, committee of the whole March 27th, 2024, arts, parks, and rec January 4th, 2024, and recycling committee February 7th, 2024. There a second? I'll second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? So ordered. Uh, now we come to the public comment. Are there any comments from the public? Your last chance as a public. Yeah. <laughs> and see, yeah, I'm supposed to do this here. How they freeze the bed. <laughs> there we go. Okay. okay, when the clock is no longer green. <laughs> the rabbit comes out and gives you fifty dollars. Go ahead. Um, I just have a couple of things to briefly comment on. Uh, one would be uh, the developers' agreement. Um, I guess I would uh, like to see the uh, before that site. I would like to see the site plan review happen. Uh, the zoning issues addressed uh, with the zero lot line. As well as the uh, runoff pond and At what time the the runoff pond that they brought up and the size and the scope of that and how much that is uh, going to cost on the project before the city would make um, a commitment to pay for half of it, um, which leads into the next item, the housing development infrastructure policy. Um, that's something that I think a lot of communities probably can do successfully, but I don't think that it's right for Emory. I think 50% is a very high number. And if we're committed to paying for 50% of infrastructure and multi-million dollar policies, uh, that will add up uh, very quickly on our debt service. Um, and even if it is paid for through the TIF, that isn't free either. either. Uh, the TIF levy adds hundreds of thousands of dollars onto the city levy. So um, personally, I think that maybe to retain the flexibility of um, evaluating those on a case-by-case -case basis and what the conditions of the city's uh, finances are at the time would be um, of a benefit to the city. And the last thing I have to comment on is the community coordinator Marketing and Promotional Services, RFP. Um, I was a, a little confused and I attended City of the Hall. So um, the Amherst Community Club is kind of doing their thing and the city is kind of doing their thing, uh, which I think it's a real shame that the two uh, cannot collaborate uh, together for the benefit of the community since there will certainly be shared um, items and services. Uh, between the two RFPs. Um, I called and talked to some of the leadership at the community club and asked some questions about it because I was kind of confused. And they felt that they just wanted to get the ball rolling and move forward and that they didn't know how long the city uh, would be taking to address this. So if there is at some point um, a way to salvage that, 
maybe after they get theirs and we get ours and maybe uh you know at that time maybe to meet again and get our heads together and you know maybe see if there's some way to salvage that uh collaboration and that is it thanks you're thanks, still Brian. green thanks friend you there two minutes on three minutes i'm proud of you <laughs> Would that that's the sound. Okay. Now how you shut it off. <laughs> there, it, it just beeps a couple times. Okay. Is there any other comments? I just want to say thanks to everybody that came out to our uh, pancake breakfast. We actually served 545 people-ish. Um, so it was a pretty good turnout. Uh, place was pretty packed, went through a lot of food. I'd also like to thank uh, Chili um, at the Family Restaurant and also uh, Doug Reinhardt for uh, donating all the food and drinks. So it was really nice. It's great to have uh, um, business owners that are willing to do that sort of stuff for a party department. We really appreciate it. So thanks, everybody. <laughs> it's very good, by the way. Yeah, well attended. It was fun. Any other? No. Okay. If that, then we will proceed to uh, item number two. Uh, this is, came about because we had a resignation on Arts, Parks, and Rec Committee. Um, and so I would like to have the council approve the appointment of Mike Manor to that committee. I'll make a motion to appoint Mike to the Art, Parks, and Rec Committee. No second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So ordered. Okay. Uh, liquor license approval for 1000 River Place Drive. That's Express Lane. Yes. So they already have a liquor license, but this, like the other one in town, also changed hands to the same company that the other one went to last month. So they need a new liquor license in order to keep operating. Okay. So nothing's changing. It's just a different entity running out of it. And Dan, you applied the blessing, okay? I'll make a motion that we uh, approve that liquor license. And just so, well, yeah, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to inter interrupt the second here. I'll second that. All right, just so everybody knows, that is a uh, off-sale license, uh, right. like we have several of them there. It's not a service serving type license, so. All right. All those in favor of approving the liquor license for one th change for one thousand River Place Drive, say aye. 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 Opposed. Sword. Approval of the SEH recommended bid for the wastewater treatment plant. Eric. Uh, good evening, Mayor Council. Uh, we did open up bids, and as we discussed at the Committee of the Whole meeting, uh, we received three bids uh, for the work with bids from Lunda, Stav, and Mark and Johnson, Mark and Johnson being, being the lowest lowest bid. Uh, we did check with them to make sure that they're, they're comfortable with their number as presented. Uh, they are. Uh, we vetted them as well. Um, with other work that they've done in wastewater treatment plants uh, and feel that they are an acceptable contractor for the, for the job. So Jeremiah and I will stand for any questions or if you like further explanation, just let us know. What is the time frame that we would be looking at to have this work all done? So there. Um, I, yeah, I think the uh, way the contract documents were laid out, we're giving them essentially two construction seasons. So assuming they would start this year, um, potentially finish by next fall, I believe is what we had in the, in the contract documents. Mm -hmm. okay. Did I recall? Yeah, I thought it was number of days. And 600 days, days, right? 600 days. Yeah. We had, uh, 600 days, days, yeah. So yeah, when we were talking at the committee whole, we thought it would be around two years from now yeah um, not quite but yeah it's a long okay. time yeah 
Need a motion? Uh, we can't spend money if we don't have a motion. Well, let's let's spend money, I guess. So uh, I make a motion that we uh, approve uh, the contract with Market and Johnson for the sewer plant upgrade. Oh, okay. And just so everybody understands, I believe that was fourteen. Yeah, the. Fourteen nine million nine hundred forty thousand dollars mm -hmm. round figures. They said a start date. Uh, no, so yeah, so we'll we'll go through this yeah. and contracting, um, get all the contracts okay. in place, set up a pre-con, and start. start working with it. Yep. Okay, we'll vote by roll calls. Uh, I, if you're in favor of it, Brent Summer. Aye. Thompson? Aye. Flannel? Aye. Manor? Aye. Motion passes. Now, item number five is a supplemental letter agreement with SEH for the for the engineering management of the white wastewater treatment. And you should have a copy of that. <clears throat> um, I'll make a motion to approve the supplemental letter agreement with SEH for the wastewater treatment plant. Um, two figures, uh, the construction contract administration for $530,080 and the task, second task being the resident project representative services in hourly estimate to be $451,730. Well, second. Okay, motion made and seconded that we approve the supplemental letter of agreement for SEH and the contract. Any further questions, discussion? Hearing none. We'll do a roll call on this one also. Ben Summer. Yes. Thompson? Yes. Flannel? Yes. Manor? Yes. Motion passes unanimously. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Get your shovel. <laughs> okay, developers agreement with Valley View West Investments. Um, I'm going to ask every table. This discussion, um, we'd have to get a few more documents together. So, okay. Um, if we go forward with having our two council meetings per month, okay. uh, that would bring our next meeting to April 17th, I believe. So, they said they would be ready by then if we want to meet. Okay. All right. Is there consensus to table that till the following meeting? Mm -hmm. All right. We'll table that to the next council meeting. Uh, housing development infrastructure funding policy. Um, so with this, Patty, is there a particular reason why we went with the 50-50 split? I think we talked about that at a previous meeting. Okay. And that would be up to the developer to pay that back. So that's that's really not on the onus of the city. It's really going to be, um, and they understand that that mm -hmm. that's it'll be very similar to projects like we've had in the past. Like we had this uh, whistling waters, I think. Okay. Yeah, it'll be sort of like that. So when they sell a, a property, that goes back. To, so it's going to be set up similar to that. And on on that same wavelength, I you know I had talked to you earlier uh, today to just questioning that as well yeah. and that's unfortunately not the way that this reads um right and i think that we need to have a little clarification in the terminology in this right. document mm -hmm. because i know for a while or what what we had been talking about is that we would um we would you know uh, front 50 percent and then at the point in time that lots were sold, they would reimburse the city for, you know, for the other, for, for the portion that the city had fronted. Mm -hmm. um, and I think every 
development is going to be different as to whether we do that or not. I think it's going to depend upon scope. Um, I hesitate to put something out there that actually clearly indicates that 50% because if it's a if it's a development that's fairly small, I don't necessarily know that we need to be um, fronting that money for them. Um, so I question, um, I, I don't know how it would be worded in this particular policy, but if we are going to offer, if we're gonna make that standard, um, it, need to, it needs to be worded as such that we would be um, requiring the 50% that the city fronted at the beginning to be repaid and then what increments, what time frames, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So I, I, I think we the should, more I read this, I I'm like, I'm not, I'm not comfortable so with this at this point in time. Right. While we're discussing it, yeah. though, could yeah. we word it in a way where it's like up to 50% so that we have some flexibility in in what we're willing to do depending on the project? Because I, I don't know that I'm necessarily comfortable locking in a specific amount no. either. No. And this, like I said, was just to get us in line so we had something, some sort of policy. Mm -hmm. It well, doesn't necessarily have to be this, but mm -hmm. it's and just... I think, I think yeah. it's important that developers know that we will work with them, mm -hmm. um, but to be tied into something um, without, you know, a little bit more specific as far as, you know, um, paybacks and so on. I think we need to be cautious Certainly doing that. So one thought, though, I have is, you know... <clears throat> Um, do we, you know, let's say the cost, you know, kind of put a cost minimum that we would go 50%. Mm. Yeah, that's a way to do it too. You know, because I think really we, we want, we want all the projects, <laughs> but we certainly want the larger projects. So, so if we're willing to go 50%, and I think that's a good number, you know, do we say, uh, any projects where the cost of the sewer is over a half a million dollars or a quarter of a million dollars or something. I think that's really important for, um, um, you know, if you have someone that wants to develop a lot to the back of a 40. Right. Um, but we got to put a quarter mile of road in and we're going to build one house. You know, and, and they, those things have to show that they are, that the TIF, the, the increment will actually pay for the costs of the infrastructure too. And I don't know if that's specifically worded like that, but I know, yeah. but it's, you know, it's a starting place. So, well, and, and yeah. yeah, and I think the other thing is, um, you know, yeah, you don't want the, the one house in exactly. the back 40. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Um, so that's why we, I, I do believe if we can, take each development on its own and, and rule accordingly. Now you, you run into the danger of, well, you didn't treat me fair because, yeah, right. yeah. you know, but yeah, on the other different. hand, you have, uh, you know, you, you, you have, you don't lock yourself into some future situation right. where you're uncomfortable. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, in addition, I, I'm concerned about the time frame as far as the payback. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, yeah, it's it's got to be stipulated somehow that you know after a number of years you need to be fifty percent sold on what you started with, and so many years one hundred percent, and even at that time, if you're not completely sold out, you still need to pay the city. I like that idea where you're just on a five year schedule. Yeah, well, I don't know, you know if five years is realistic, but yeah. some type of arrangement like that going into it. Mm -hmm. So so we're not sitting here for 15 years waiting for a developer to, you know, and that's not what they want either. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, but no, believe me, no, none of them yeah. developers <laughs> want their money setting out there no. 15 years. Mm -hmm. No, I'm sure years. not. But yeah. just to. I am just doing the developer's agreements on a case by case, and then we can mm -hmm. do yeah. more fleshing out of this and figure out what you want to do, even if you want to have it at all. I mean, it's just something that... No, I think we need to have it, but I think it has to be... But we got to figure out what we're trying to accomplish. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, I agree. 
Okay. So there's the table. Well, we have one of our developers sitting here, so <laughs> yeah. that's good. Great. Okay, so do we want to consensus to table this for to the next meeting again? Yes. 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 Okay, we'll table item seven to the May meeting. Yes, May meeting. Do you want the May meeting or do you want to the next meeting? Because the next, meeting. The next meeting, the April meeting. Okay. We aren't we haven't approved that yet though. So <laughs> so the next meeting is probably still appropriate. We're gonna just change the next. I guess I'll reach out with you more and just yeah. and get a consensus of what I'll see. Item number eight. Community Coordinator Marketing and Promotional Services RFP. You want to talk about that, Patty? Um, well, we have, um, like Grant mentioned, there's a community club has one and we have one. Um, I went and added a few dates in there. Mm -hmm. um, I changed it to tomorrow's date. And then I also stated that they could submit electronically to me no later than Thursday, April 26th. I don't know if that works for you all or not, but I just said Thursday, April 26th, and that gives me a little time to look at them, and then we can talk about it at the beginning of the May meeting. Um, and then if they, if they have any questions, they can bring those to me Wednesday, by Wednesday, April 7th. So and I was, what the dates, how you feel about the dates. I was told by... Uh, they had a community club directors meeting this morning, and I think they they approved going to the membership, saying the this is who we're going to hire. So I believe they're on schedule for doing, you know, for making that hiring process. So, what Lincoln. date did you say? Um, I said April twenty fourth. I think that's a little long. Okay. Um, let's get this process rolling. I, I'm tired of waiting. We've been thinking about this forever. Yeah. Um, Tell me I, I mean, I, I would even go. By the next meeting. Yeah, I mean, our next meeting would be end up being the 17th. Um, so you think Wednesday the 16th? Uh, Wednesday would be the There's 17th. Two, two weeks. Yeah, I mean, that's, Tuesday, the 16th. so that's two weeks. I mean, it's not so we need to be making a decision, but I think having them back and you know, because they're, you're going to have to be interviewing these groups and such. Um, but I, I think two weeks is plenty of time for somebody to pull something together. So um, it's Tuesday, not as though we haven't been talking about this. And like, I guess if we do, we not have several of them already anyway. No, I have two. Two. Well, that's close to several. <laughs> so, that's a couple. Yeah, I suppose. He was three. <laughs> um, so uh and and i guess to respond to um the point that fran had made i mean i think it, it would be the hope that we can partner up with the community club in the interest of time they wanted to get it rolling and we weren't ready to move on it because things take time in city government <laughs> it's a little quicker and um in the business world. So um, it would be the hope that we can coordinate with the community club. If it's not the same person, our people will need to, or whoever people or companies will need to work with them to make sure there's not duplication of efforts and so on. So I would be willing to make a motion to approve the RFP for the community coordinator and market promotional services. So Tuesday, April 16th deadline? Yes. yes. I'll second. Okay, motion's been made and seconded to uh, address uh, the marketing and promotional RFP for the April 16th, Tuesday. Correct. And to, so that we can make the decision April 17th, hopefully. Any further questions, answers? I, you know, I'm just wondering, I mean, I, I think it's great the community club has taken the initiative, 
would we be better off just seeing what develops there or um or is maybe that's what we are doing i'm not real real sure i'm sorry I, I... so so they're going to come up with what what that looks like and maybe even a name i don't know right mm -hmm. so now we still want to work with we we definitely want to work with them but should we see you know where they come up with and then i think the issue we run into is that the community club only has so much funding to put toward this and the hope is that the city will be able to partner financially oh, okay. on the project and so in order for us to financially partner we have to go through our rfp process so that's where we get really yeah <laughs> okay so that's where we get to where we are currently yeah and well you're, that's you're that's... right about cumbersome it is um mm -hmm. but it's you know the two entities that make it cumbersome so um okay well, and, uh, and I'm with you. I, I don't think it's good business at all for the community club to endorse one uh, no. entity and the city to endorse the other entity at the end of a year's contract, which I think is what everybody's been talking about. Um, if that changes, then we should do a, a proposal a joint type proposal, but because this was the first one and it's disjointed, now we're you know in this process. At one time, we talked about um, about just hiring uh, or, or making this a one year contract, and I guess you know depending on, I think that's probably still an an available option to do that, uh, but. But this RFP that will should solve the problems and the meet and the requirements. Us, yes, I think okay. so. So, have a motion on the floor. You need the motion restated. You all understand. All in I'm favor, say aye. 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 Opposed. So ordered. Yep. Comprehensive plan RFP. And this is. Uh, to go out for an RFP to update the, or assist in updating the comprehensive plan because there are, there are how many pages to the comprehensive plan? Lots. Mm -hmm. um, and it, and it uh, requires a, a pretty good look at it. And so this would be a plan to uh, get some additional, uh, I hesitate to call it engineering help, but at least some help in the, with people with that expertise to uh, assist us in making that plan. So this is to go out for an RFP for it. And we're required to do this by, we should have probably done it a couple of years ago. Uh, I think we're supposed to do it every five years and it's been eight or something like that, isn't it? Yeah, I think it's 10. I think it's 10 years. 10 total. Um, so we need to, we need, it's something we need to do and this will facilitate it pretty rapidly. So these so. are the amendments to our current comprehensive plan. So we have to go ahead and do some changes to what obviously is already in place. Um, and I set this up with the same dates. I said Thursday, April 26th. And I, I don't think, why, but it's, personally, I don't think that's, that's not, not obnoxious. We can, right. we can live with that. That doesn't important. need to be done. Yeah. Um, it's dated, however, May first. That that so I, that's what was in your packets, but I yeah. had to make some changes. Okay, so it is gonna have like April four current date. Okay, and then yeah, uh, the review or our piece back the twenty sixth. I think you said. Okay. Yeah, right. So we'll have for May. Do you have any questions uh, for clarification? I need those by April seventeenth. So okay. Is there a motion? I'll make that motion that we require or request an RFP for the comprehensive plan. I'll second that. Motion's made and seconded to go to an RFP for the uh, assistance in revamping the comprehensive plan for the city of Amory. 
Any further questions? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So <laughs> declared. Uh, then we also have an uh, RFP for an outdoor recreation plan. Um, this is something that came from basically a meeting that we had with the uh, with a person with a lot of interest in the in the, the recreation areas for the city of Amory, and uh, it one of our what is engineering firm I forget. MSA. MSA suggested that if we had a, a plan in place for an outdoor recreation plan, um, that we would qualify for a fairly uh, substantial amount of funding from the state and federal government. Mm -hmm. And so uh, while we have an, a a Recreation Parks and Recreation Committee. This would, would not usurp their authority or their their mission, but it would give us an overall view of what our recreation plan could be and uh, would be presented for us. And if once we have it, then as we want to develop that particular part of the recreation plan, uh, we would have the ability to do that. So. Um, or at least apply, which is it's one of the requirements for even applying for those grants. So, and this um, we're not as pushed to do it at right, right now because we we passed that time when we can get it funded. The grants for this year are pretty this, much over with already for doing over. summer rec type right. things. But, but I wanted to get something in place so that we can moving forward. Yep. Right. Because then we can be all set to apply for grant money for exactly, mm -hmm. which I understand typically open in the late fall or or winter mm -hmm. for the following years uh, to do that. Um, and some of the some of the you know things have been on the wish list for folks in the community for a long time, i.e., water park um, land. Uh, you know, or splash pad. Yeah, the, like those that. kinds of things, and sure. and uh, so I think that's a really good idea to have this done. So while we're talking about um, planning for things, if we go out and get help for these plans, is there a way that we can set up some sort of public hearing or public? workshop or something where community members can give feedback on what they'd like to see in these plans. Oh, of course. Um, I think that would be very beneficial given that we have a lot of really active members of the community right now that probably have feedback on where we're moving. That's my very, guess is my guess is that that's probably part of, part of the yeah. of the Process. recreational plan. Mm -hmm. uh, you, have you have to have hearings and have hearings. yeah, community meetings and so on. Good. And we Good. certainly can include that in what we ask for in the in the comprehensive plan. So mm -hmm. maybe we can get a new fire truck, right, Chuck? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Um so same dates. April 26th. If that's enough time to do that, I would think. I would. Okay. Okay. Yep. And then any questions, clarifying questions by Wednesday, April 7th, or excuse me, April 17th. So and we may not be able to have a public hearings by that time because no, but uh, but at least we'll have an RFP for it. Yeah. Correct. Definitely mm -hmm. so, start getting going. Okay. 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 I'll make that motion that we proceed with an RFP for the comprehensive outdoor recreational plan. I'll second that. Okay. Motions made and seconded to uh have a request for uh, an outdoor recreation plan. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? So ordered. Number 11, ordinance 05-2024, creating a finance committee for the city of Um This is has been brewing for several months and is, uh, I think it will take us back 
to a way that we operated at one time. Um, not that that's necessarily the be all end all, but I think uh, it gives maybe a better chance to look at individual things uh, in a setting where they can be hashed and trashed, if you will. Um, uh, and so it's just a little more personable and a little easier, I think, because those committees then will bring recommendations to the council who will also get a full swing at it, uh, if you will. And uh, it gives everybody a little more, uh, another oar in the water to get the, you know, those things to happen. So um, you've read, and this has been before us for several months. Any further discussion? I'll make a motion to approve ordinance 05-2024, amending the code of ordinances for the city of Amory as it relates to establishing or re, I don't know, reactivating the finance committee and its specific duties. I have a second. Okay, motion's been made and seconded to approve ordinance 05-2024. Regarding chapter 14, section 14, for the creation of a finance committee, uh, duly noticed. Any further discussion? Approving that ordinance by roll call vote. Ben Summers. Yes. Thompson. Yes. Lammer. Yes. <clears throat> Manor. Yes. Sword. <laughs> Item number 12, ordinance 06, 2024, follows along with the finance committee, and this is a personnel committee. Um, and they would, there's a list of the tasks that they would be responsible for uh, to, and bring again, all of it comes back to the full city council at a, at a regular council meeting, but uh, uh, it, these committees detail three council people with the direct responsibility of knowing about finance personnel and public safety uh, as, as their various committees. So um, I think, again, th these two follow together very well and uh, you can see what they are responsible for. And so are there any questions regarding personnel? I'll make a motion to accept ordinance 07 2024. Six. Oh, I'm this sorry. is six. Sorry, I'm on the wrong one. And my <laughs> 06 2024 uh, regarding the personnel committee and reinstating it. Any okay. second that? Motion's made and seconded to approve that 06 2024. Is there any further discussion? Questions? Once again, We'll have a roll call vote. Van Summeren? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Flanham? Yes. Manor? Yes. Thank you. Passes unanimously. Item number 13, 07 2024. This creates a public safety committee. Uh, this is not the same committee that, that uh, used to roam around the city hall. This is uh, does not deal with the fire department. And the reason for that is that the fire commission is already created as a uh, multi-governmental issue with the townships because they are all 100% uh, partners in the operation of the Amory Fire Department. Uh, they're all, we all pay taxes the same amount whether you live uh, uh, on South Street or whether you live on 2nd Street on the north or any place out in the uh, community, there's a representative based on population that uh, is part of this committee along with the fire chief and uh, 
Amory has two representatives on the committee. Lincoln has two representatives on the committee. Blackbrook and Alden each have one representative due to the fact that we have substantially smaller uh, dollar values to protect out in those those two areas. So, um, so that defines it. Um, so these this will deal will be at least part of the group that will uh, be responsible for union contracts with the uh, police department. Um, basically, any issues that come from the police department will go to the public safety committee for recommendations to the council. Any further questions? I'll make a motion that we uh, create that public safety committee ordinance number 072024. I'll second that. Motion's made and seconded that we approve uh, 07 2024 regarding the creation of a public safety committee. All those, any other questions, comments? All those in favor? You can ask a question. Is there any thought of having a few members from the community also on that committee? Not at this time. Um, Never say never. Um, <clears throat> all right. You heard the motion in the second. Can, can yeah. I then yeah. ask a, a question? So, so with this committee, did, I mean, is there any voting or anything? Right oh, absolutely. Yeah. So, so to that comment, I, I like the idea of getting community members, but with I, I don't necessarily know if they should be voting members. Okay, they'd be more of an advisory member if I'm just throwing, and we don't, this obviously isn't part of the motion, but I'm just kind of. I think it, it, you know, it's like all of the ordinances that we have, they're all subject to change at one time or another. If you find something that, that would work better or doesn't work well, uh, I mean, they are ordinances and we, that's how we, how we live politically. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that once it's in place, obviously, because we're replacing what we had before uh, with these. So um, could it be? Yeah. Again, that would have to come back to the full council for approval. But right. to call people in that might be interested in it, um, I guess what I wouldn't personally like would be, um, to, be to see the committee crowbarred into doing something because 12 people show up and and well that's what know, i'm like, saying it's advisory so you know yeah if they so i think the rules of engagement i.e with a five minute com uh comment yeah. and so on are very appropriate uh, even on committee setups yeah. uh mm -hmm. you know well because they're still public meetings and we can oh absolutely absolutely and they're noticed they'll be noticed meetings uh, they're not uh you know, you don't get together for coffee. Uh, although I will tell you that when it's a three-person committee, if two of you get together, that can be construed as a uh, as a quorum. Mm -hmm. So um, that there just needs to be some caution. And uh, obviously, Dan would be part of the part of the meeting. Mm -hmm. um, well, I, I think anytime you can get input, that's a good oh, thing. Oh, absolutely. You know, but, or good, let me rephrase that, good input. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. If, if it just, you know, if the community involvement is just kind of a complaining section with no constructive ideas, then you're wasting everybody's yeah. time. But That's why you get to borrow the five-minute timer. Okay. You know, <laughs> if you're on the committee. <clears throat> Any other questions? We have a motion. Who made the motion? I did. Mike okay, made the Mike. motion, Sarah made the second. Okay. We have a motion and a second to approve ordinance 07 2024 regarding chapter 14, section 15, the creation of a public safety committee. Anything further? All 
All those in favor by roll call. Van Summeren. Yes. Thompson. Yes. Blanham. Yes. Manor. Yes. Okay, we're getting down to number 14, and this is uh, Ordinance 8, 2024, Chapter 86, Section 6 and 11 regarding standing committees. And uh, this is regarding action on committee reports and meetings of city council. You want to flesh that out a little bit, Patty? Yeah, we have two different <clears throat> add-ons. The first one is 86-6, and we're adding Committee of the Whole. And the structure of that has changed. Um, they'll meet quarterly. And it's a workshop session where there is no formal action taken by the council. Um, it'll be conducted uh, with the following types of discussion. They have citizen questions, concerns, discussion as requested by the mayor or all the persons, review of policy action for future meetings, uh, updates on department operations, uh, preliminary policy and strategy discussions staff reports and recommendations and presentations by other groups and agencies. And it's a meeting. So we will have a notice. We will have an agenda. So it's no different than any other meeting that we hold with the city. The only difference is it's for, you know, there's no formal action taken. It's just a workshop and it's discussion. And specifically, I think it needs to be said that those meetings will not only be open to the public, but the public will be encouraged to come, you know, not, I hesitate to say more because I encourage you to come to these meetings too, but um, uh, if you have an idea and you'd like to get it before the council and argue your your points with the council, I think that's the time, a, play, a time and a place where you can come and say, no, I think you guys are all wet. This is what you should do. And we can say, Nah, probably not, or probably that's a really good idea, but a time where we'll get more dialogue in a less formal setting and yet still make things happen. And I think those are, those are important things to the community. Um, I'm sure there's some kind of a word that says, uh, you know, we, it's open and diverse and so on and so forth, but, uh, but that's the intent is to get more public folks, more, you know, a lot of good ideas out there. And uh, if you keep them all to yourself, then not much happens. So, and these okay. Are, these are, they happen all over the state. They're yep. all over the community, and then they're getting to be more common. So, so that's the only uh, report then that we'll get from department heads. Is that once a no. quarter? No, no, no. Uh, I think. At least my intent is to have the the first meeting of the month uh, start out the same way as our meetings did last time. So you guys are all still on the hook for your reports. Um, he thinks he's off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just that what what we are able to discuss, we don't have to put off to the committee as a whole for another month. Uh, so I'm anticipating that this will will uh, streamline the process without getting to be so fast or faster than we should be. Um, I've often said government is best when it moves slowly and uh, that hasn't changed at all, so. And on that note, um, the second part is 8611, we're changing the meeting structure. Um, currently we have it the first Wednesday, but this is going to be the first and third Wednesday of each calendar at the hour of five. So uh, if they fall on a legal holiday, it will be held the next secular day at the same hour and place as otherwise, or as otherwise designated by the majority vote of the city council. Um, they'll all be held here in the city hall, including um, special and adjourned meetings, unless another location is designated by the city council at a previous meeting. We had a meeting out on Main Street and we sat and talked with the constituents at that meeting and we yes, broadcast we it. Yeah. That was in another location, but anyway, I digress. Okay. Any questions, comments? Dang, we should do this, or dang, we shouldn't, or whatever. <laughs> well, I, you know, I guess I, I just would like to say, you know, I'm, I'm excited about some of these potential developments, and I, mm -hmm. I really, you know, want the developers to know too that we want to make this work for them and, and yeah. 
Yeah. We need a motion. I'll make a motion to approve ordinance 08 2024, uh, chapter 86, sections 6 and 11, uh, amending the city code of ordinances for the standing committees um, of, for the committee of the whole, and then also um, the scheduling the meetings of the city council. I'll second that motion. Okay, motions made and seconded to approve 08 2024. Any further questions or comments? I guess my only comment would be that I sincerely hope that people come to those quarterly meetings and talk with us. Exactly. And really any any time of the year, please come talk to us. We can only do the best we can with the information we have. So Anything else? Taylor, you're on. Roll call vote, please. Van Summeren? Yes. Thompson? Yes. Flanham? Yes. Manor? Yes. Sword unanimously. That's That'll be the last. Uh, no, I guess we probably got a vote on that <laughs> my roll call, too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, item 15, the sale of Soldier's Field. Uh, the property uh, IDs are before you, but basically it includes soldiers. It's the soldiers field as you commonly know it. Um, with a couple exceptions, uh, this is a plan to make a permanent alley on the south end of soldiers field so that the folks who live and use that and have used that and it's a currently a non-designated uh driveway basically but it's on city property and the city doesn't i don't know that we don't maintain it at all do we I'll just tell us about it. yeah so uh so the intent behind this would or the uh, sale would also include designating that as a public right-of-way and uh the ability then to for the folks that live on there to use that continue to use it as it has been in past times so um i guess i'd like to say that i spoke to two different attorneys on this and um, we are not holding a public hearing on it because it is no longer um it doesn't fall under the criteria of it being a public space where we would have to do that um we are good to go um, in regards to putting this up for sale as this piece of property. So, and I guess, Robin, you can take the floor and just kind of go back and talk about what we talked about in closed session and kind of what your plan is. And... Right. Good evening. My name, as we talked before, my name is Robin Affin. Um, kind of, I guess, going to be the developer of that if, we, if it goes through. My plan is... Uh, multi-family homes, um, majority of it. And then we might do some single family in the back, depending on the biggest issue we're having, and that's why we're buying this on a length of time is, I don't wanna put money into, trying to put money into something I don't own, but that, if anybody's, well, most of you guys are from better from Amy more than I am, um, it's always wet. So there's some way we gotta lift it, um, work with the DNR, to uh, find some way to, for drainage. Um, and I'd like to have some green space in there for a park or something. But as Mayor talked about that, we are gonna, my plan is to put a road in, but I won't do it one way. So we'll have the alley. I don't wanna take away from the homeowners on the south side of it. Um, Cause that lot line goes right up to most of their driveways or some of the garages back there. That'll be a designated, alleyway um, that will be used off of the cul-de-sac of the main road that comes in off of Memorial, correct? Yeah. Um, so, Harriman. Harriman well, will be no. on the alley. Memorial is the one that's by the VFW. Oh, okay. yeah. That will be yeah. the main road that comes into a cul-de-sac and then over well to, towards the lake. Um, but yeah, I want to research and trying to figure how it works. It's a beautiful piece of property that I think would make a nice place for my goal is zero entry housing for either starter homes or 
people that are getting my age or older that uh, retirement type home for the lake right there. So um, I guess I'll take any questions um, that anybody has and try to answer them the best I can. You had mentioned previously about putting a pier off into the lake right there. Is that still your intention? Yes, it is. And well, and that depends on how the pro how are we write it up that park area. I know uh, Sarah, that's okay if I say it, um, wanted to keep that as part of the city, but I'd still like to put out a dock um, out into there for people to go out and sit and fish look at the lake, but uh, that would be on my dime as the people that buy these houses or twin homes that I put out there would be able to use, but so would every citizen in the city, um, just a common area for people to go visit. But yes, that is part of it too. And I think the intent is for the city to own, own a, he's volunteered to buy the dock and the city will you know, maintain it because it would also be open to the public. Correct. And uh, similar to the uh, overlook that's already there. And so, you know, we'd take it, put it out in the spring and take it in in the fall. And, and, uh, but it would be a donation and then the city will maintain it. So, okay. for the, for any of the residents that want to come down there. Right. So. Okay. That's right. Thanks, Robin. Another question? Thank you. So with that said, are we going to remove PID ending in 1070 from the um, no. sale? You're going to have to actually do like a certified survey map because that park is part of the other side of the, the other road. Path. Okay. Yeah, it's really weird. But then let's just carry on. Yeah, so that <laughs> we do have to we have to delineate that. Yeah, you're gonna or have to... we can just sell the whole thing. Pardon? Or we can just sell the whole thing as long as he has intent to do something with it. Yeah, yeah. then then we. I, I think you're right on keeping the park. I drove by it and there's a lot of people up there. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think that would be yeah, let's work a way to keep advantageous that to the city to right, right. keep it the uh, park personally, but. Mm -hmm. um, because we're gonna have to have a certified CSM on it anyway. So, okay. Any other questions? Are we, do we need to act on it? On the sale? Mm -hmm. This is to approve the offer to purchase, right? You looking for a motion? You sure. said you can't take money in without a motion either. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I make a motion to approve the sale of Soldiers Field, uh, described as PID 2000, 201, 10, 70, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, gone basically so i think you probably need to include that in your motion okay you need to make your motion i will amend my motion to include whatever you just said <laughs> yeah you want to read that back yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go taylor <laughs> I suppose you, you approve the sale with the exception of that one parcel. Is that? No, no, no. It's going to read it back. You have two minutes, Taylor. <laughs> Roger moves to approve the sale of PAD 201-01070-0000 and 201-01065-0000 with the exception that a CSM will be created to keep the land by um, self twin and to create a city alley in the existing alley. 
that sounds good to you guys. <laughs> that accurately reflect what you want? Yeah, I, okay. Um, so the so creating when we create a city alley, we own that strip of land then the city does. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah. And, think and that's what you want. I'm yes. just saying. Yes. So I uh, think it's going to end up. Yeah, go ahead. I just, uh, just to help out, you also own the road that comes in off of. So you own the road to call the sack in the alley. So you have to do the maintenance oh. on it. Oh, uh, um, okay, sure. So you'll, yeah. own, you'll own any of that. Okay. Um, and that makes sense. Yeah. Then I'll own the, my group will own the company, the buildable property, but the actual infrastructure will own the, I mean, you'll own the water sewer that runs in there too, because we'll get into it, but on the backside, we'll have an easement for water and sewer that runs across the, across the green space. Mm -hmm. um, you guys will own that also. So, but that's for yes. So clarifying the question then. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's, so is that something that can just be done after the fact, like once the land is sold and he determines where the city yes, street is, then that land road, will come back at yeah, that point. The roads will have to meet city approval okay. and the water so will have to be water inspected. Water. Yeah. So yeah, that would be an after fact. Okay. Yeah. So in some of our city properties, property owners own water and sewer up to like the center of the road and they're expected if something goes wrong to deal with that. Is that... Yeah. Up, up in the, okay. Uh, yeah. So is that the same expectation with how we're setting this up then? Yeah. Or okay. along the main and all the other stuff will be here. Okay. It's usually like three feet past the curb, the yeah. single one, um, that right away area. Mm -hmm. And that's where I'll attach. Okay. And this permanent alleyway that you're talking about on this map is the access road that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. East West Road. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> And what is back here on the east side, right where it says 33? Is that just a lot line that goes at the end there? of that road? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's 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 the family restaurant parking lot. Okay. So I think it's been seconded, right? Yes. Good yes, when I second it. Okay. Okay. So we have a motion that's made and seconded to approve the sale of Soldiers Field with the aforementioned the exception to do a CSM to keep the part of the land by the lake and create a city alley in the existing alley. Okay, and most of that, the developer's agreement and all that will come back to the city again, anyway, mm -hmm. after Jerry owns the land. So, okay, any further questions, comments? Once again, the roll call vote. Van Summeren. Yes. Thompson. Yes. Blano. Yes. Manor. Yes. So approved. And now we're three minutes behind the schedule, but motion to adjourn. Second. Motion made and seconded to adjourn the meeting. All those in favor say aye. 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 aye.